Hello, everybody. I'm hanging out with my buddy Jose. What's up, guys and gals, dogs and cats? I, I came back. I couldn't get enough from before. I want to be on your TVs and your computer screens. Which album do you enjoy listening to most out of all the albums Incubus has made? From Nicholas Salzar. Salzar. Um, good question, Nicholas. Thanks for the question. Um, you know, A Crow Left of the Murder has a really uh, soft spot you know, for me. Um, I felt like, you know, that was kind of a new period for us. We just, uh, um, we just got Ben in the band and it was just, you know, kind of, uh, no holds bar period for us. So I, I think, I think that record for me has a lot of special, a lot of specialness to it. Video oh, let's time. do a video question. Right. Hold on. Everybody, everybody, I hope you got your goggles ready. I'm in. Hope you got your 3D goggles ready. It's coming at you. Video question. Hey guys. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hi. Are you in the bathroom? No, I'm in my room actually. Where, where are you from? You from England? Yeah. So, cool. what was putting together the drums for this album any different to the rest of the album cycle? Ah, uh, um, no, not really, you know. Um, I just, I just have my typical setup, um, uh, two rack toms, two floor toms, a bunch of different snares, uh, I got a bunch of cymbals I sort of change in and out uh, with each song. So that kind of that stays the same. Um, I just answered a question a little before where I played timpanis and different other um, percussive, percussive elements too. So we sort of approach it the same way when, when recording the drums. The next question is a text question. I hope for y'all's sake it's not a sex question. Oh! <laughs> Audience question. What is your favorite band? And when is your U.S. tour kicking off? From Jeff Lebro. What's up, Jeff? Lebro. What's up, Jeff Lebro? Jeff is Lebro. That's French for the bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, some of my favorite bands. Um, the Police, Zeppelin, um... Uh, some rock bands that got yeah, Soundgarden, Rage Against the Machine. Um, I love John Coltrane, some Charles Mingus. Um, you were really big in, in the Tokyo Hotel a couple years ago, too. Tokyo Hotel. What's up, Nick Cabedad? Hey, guys, what's up? How, how you doing, man? Hey, Nick. Doing good. All right, so my question is I know you guys play cover songs sometimes on your tours, but if it was totally up to you, what song would you play on this tour? Cover song? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Which one? It's, that's, a, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, you know, most of, the, most of the covers we've done have sort of been, sort of been just off, off the cuff. I don't know, man. There's so many good songs. That, I mean, I know I could, I, I could fill up a whole day with songs that I've always wanted to play live. Yeah, prob probably a Phil Collins songs for me or something, man. I, I don't know. But yeah, there's tons. Hey, and what song, what, song, what song would you like us to play? Yeah, that's, that's really yeah. the other shoe dropping what, right there. What would, you, what would excite oh, you for wow. us to play? Okay. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think you guys should play a 311 song. Any 311 song. Ooh. Any 311 song. That's cool. Yeah, those those are good cats, man. Those are friends of ours. Um, yeah, that would that'd be fun. Actually, I used to play uh, grassroots of music all the time, you know, on my headphones. So I might be able to tackle one or two of those songs from back in the day. Okay. Hi guys. Greetings from Colombia. Any advice for those who are starting a band? Definitely the outfits. Watch them outfits. <laughs> Watch them capris <laughs> <clears throat> and pointed shoes. Mm. Um, uh, you know, for uh, for me, I would say you know you just got to you just really just got to follow your heart. You gotta you gotta continue. You gotta persevere. It becomes difficult when you get a little bit older, and you know most people got to work for a living, and uh, it's very difficult to make a living out of playing music. But um, you know, really, if you just keep going, and and you know at some point or other, you got to make a decision whether you keep going or not. If you really love playing music, then you'll make it fit any, somewhere in your life. Even if it's just a hobby and it's a weekend thing, whatever it may be, you know, you'll, you'll find a place for it in your life. But yeah, just, 
just, you know, pushing through. First off, I'd like to say that Incubus has been my favorite band for over 15 years, and Science is my favorite album ever. And Ben, I love Burn cool, the Tapes and Distance and Comfort. I'm a huge fan. I just love you guys so much. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks, Zach. Nice, Zach. Thank you, man. Um, and my question is, if you guys could play with any current band right now on tour, I'd love for you guys just to kick around a few ideas of just current bands that you guys are really digging right now and that you'd love to play with. Oh, man, that's, that's a good question because we're about to go on tour. Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out actually now. <laughs> yeah. Um, who, I, I, have, I haven't even spoken to you about this. Who, who do you want to play with on tour right now? I'm taking the headphones off, Zach, so I'm not going to hear you for yeah. a second. Yeah, um, <laughs> man, there's a few, man. I, I would love to go out and tour with Queens of the Stone Age. I would love to go out and tour with the Foo Fighters. Yeah. Um, uh, if Rage, would, if we could tour with Rage, that would be pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah, Rage Against the Machine, we've played with them in the past at some festivals. It's been, it's been awesome. Um, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam would be sweet, too. Pretty much any of the bands that, that were you doing know. it. When we were when we were teenagers, any of the bands that were that were kicking ass then and are still kicking ass yeah. now. Soundgarden, Soundgarden would be sweet. Faith yeah. No More would be fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did how did you react when you discovered the free album download when the record was leaked? How did you feel when the record was leaked? I felt like we were robbed. That's right. <clears throat> you know, it's always a bum <laughs> out. It's always a bum out when someone takes your stuff illegally. You know, especially. Um, when it's not even out yet. So, uh, you know, uh, kind of happened quickly. We, tr we put a stop to it quickly and, uh, and it comes out in July. So, uh, look out for it and, uh, don't make me mad at you. Best advice that I think, um, I would say is, is listening to, um, all types of music, all genres of music. Um, I know for me, I listen to, um, Fish, Santana, I listen to um, uh, Charles Mingus, uh, just everything and anything that inspired me. And it really encompassed all different styles of music. So that just kept my mind open. And when it came to playing, I was able to really kind of put all of those different influences together. Where are you coming from? Liverpool, England. Nice, nice. What's your question? Um, I've asked every other of the member of bands who's been on the chat so far, so now it's your turn to answer. What one Incubus song would you choose to be rem remembered by and why? Oh, good question. Um, maybe uh, drum-wise, I'd say maybe Six Side Little World. That's that's one of my favorite drum, one of my favorite tracks to play drums to. It's just exciting for me and. Uh, we usually sort of break that middle part down and, you know, everyone sort of, you know, uh, noodles a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one track I'd love to be remembered for. It's a question from Erica Fenton. Hi, Erica. Erica says... If you're there. How has fatherhood changed you? Uh, fatherhood, uh, it's been, fatherhood's been the coolest thing I've ever experienced in my life. You know, it's just an amazing, um... It's just been an amazing evolution, and um, uh, yeah, it's really hard. You can't really explain it to anybody. It's just something that um, you know. It's just something that that you'll you'll just have to experience on your own. But having a little girl has just been the coolest coolest thing ever. So it's been a few years now, and uh, you know, it gets you. Uh, it it get, definitely gives you more purpose, and you know, priorities change, and you know, it just. It really, it really got me to, to really know um, what's important in my life, and it's just been, it's been a really cool experience. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. So yeah, so, hoes. Thanks for letting me come and, and, and act like a fool all up in your video space. Yeah, that was fun, man. It was good looking yeah. out. Thanks for, uh, thanks for doing that. Should we, uh, should we go, go rehearse some music and then go on tour and go try to kick ass throughout the universe and, and rock out with our mm. socks out? Let's do it. All right, everybody out there, thank you guys so much. We'll be there soon. We'll be there soon. We're starting U.S. leg uh, in August. August. And uh, we'll be all over the world soon there before and thereafter. And stay tuned on the Incubus World Headquarters for more updates and up-to-the-minute live satellite feeds from the Incubus Satellite.
Yeah, thanks for everyone for the questions. <laughs> Thank you guys. See you guys.